your own deck with Ursula Camille. And this is The Triage Room. The Triage Room is a podcast that encourages and empowers listeners to overcome obstacles of pain. Pain is the physical suffering or discomfort caused by illness or injury. When we describe the type of pain we're having, we're really describing the symptoms. Once we identify the symptoms, then we can deal with the roots. Welcome to The Triage Room. You're now on deck with Ursula Camille, and this is the triage room. Today's topic, don't let yesterday hold you hostage. Sometimes we have different things that may happen in life. Some may try to stay focused in a certain time period in life and try to recreate those moments in time because it made them feel good. They were happy. Seems like that time in their life was very joyous, very peaceful. But if we always try to recreate a moment in time, we'll never be able to embrace the moment that we're in. And there's many reasons why some people like to focus on a certain time in life that they feel as if that time, it was a happy time for them. Sometimes trauma can cause people to want to just zoom in on one part of their life, certain years where they're what they call golden years that they want to try to get back to that place. But God is yet speaking. And God, the way time has been orchestrated, the way he does time, his time is not like our time. And God does not want us living in the past. Each moment, we have an opportunity to embrace right where we are. And for some, you know, living in the past or being held hostage by yesterday. So don't let yesterday hold you hostage. Also relates to those that can't figure out how to let go of some of the things that they have regret for, forgiving themselves for decisions and choices in life. Once we give God our yes, and we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, and we're believing that he is, then it's like, okay, Lord, we don't have to keep replaying and rehearsing what was yesterday, what was in the past. And it's not saying that we we live a life where, okay, I'm going to do whatever I feel like doing and have no... No, or no regard for other people or have no, no reverence for God as I make my decisions and my choices because we're free moral agents. But it's not saying that. It is don't let yesterday hold you hostage. It's saying don't let the things of the past, don't let whatever happened literally yesterday keep you from embracing what you are in front of today. If yesterday was a little rocky, then have the mindset that today is going to be better than it was yesterday. And then speak it. Speak over your day. Sometimes if we're not careful, we can live a life based out of habit where we're finding ourselves always reverting back to a moment in time. And yet here we are. It's like it's 2021 now. And that's like someone you're in 2021, but yet you want to recreate a moment from 1988 or 1999 or, or 2003 trying to go back in time because whatever happened, the trauma you may have experienced or a lot of disappointment, you begin to reflect and feel like there's only a few good moments and you begin to count those moments on your hand and you want to hold on to those moments. So you want to take the time to try to recreate those moments. That's how people get stuck and it hinders moving forward in life. And before you know it, 10 years have gone by, 20 years have gone by, maybe 30 or even more have gone by. And you wake up and realize it's a whole new world. It's a whole new system going on around you. Things have changed. And if we allow yesterday to hold us hostage, we'll never grow. That is a self-imprisonment. And where it seems like a safe place to be, it is hindering for all of the full potential that is within one to come forth. Each moment, each day is another opportunity to embrace, to see, to create something new to create new memory. And if things of the past have been weighing you down and keeping you where you feel like you have all these regrets, I encourage you, give it all over to God and don't hold yourself in a self-made prison mentally, emotionally, and spiritually where you're not even giving yourself the liberty, the freedom to fully live, to fully be. Trying to recreate moments in the past is a hindrance for embracing life in the moment and the fear of something new. 
Sometimes people want to stay in a certain place in life. That's why you may see someone who there's the same look, the same everything. Nothing's changed because that's the moment that was good for them. This can also contribute to arrested development where someone stays a certain age um, as far as maturity and they never grow. So you have someone who's fully a fully grown adult in age but not in maturity because they're stuck in a certain year, a certain time in life and kind of childlike. Don't let yesterday hold you hostage. And here's my moment of transparency. I do understand what it's like to want to hold on to a certain time frame in life because of things that happened that was so hurtful. You just want to hold on to something good and then not allowing myself to have the freedom and forgiving myself in decisions that at the time I may have thought were the best decisions. But then as time goes on, you realize I could have done something different. I could have made a different decision. But guess what? The date I made that decision is gone. I can't redo that date. That time is over. But what can I do now? And for a while, for a season, I stayed in a place of trying to, you know, go back, get back to a place that I felt was a good place. And then had to realize like, hold on, mm -mm. I'm robbing myself. I'm cheating myself because life is short. Where I was at that time is where I was at that time. Today is a new day. As you grow, you evolve. Another opportunity to create something new. Another opportunity to embrace a new moment. A moment that I've never seen before. Each minute, each second on the clock is another opportunity to embrace. Is another chance to see life. A day, a moment, a second, a minute that we've never seen before. And I can tell you, trying to hold on to a certain time span in the past, that is a prison. That is a self-made prison. That at the time, you may feel like this is good, but just from my own experience, it is a hindrance. It is, it is not doing us any good to be that way. And it's not allowing us to trust God. Trying to control a moment in time for what we feel. And I'm speaking on myself for what I felt. To be a good time in life, a good season in life, is not giving God the credit. That hold on now, God has graced me. God has given me another moment in time to live. I have another opportunity to do it again. I have another opportunity to see a day and a moment in time I've never seen before. So not allowing yesterday to hold me hostage that is saying i am trusting god for a moment in time i've never seen knowing it's a new day knowing it's another opportunity for me to get up and try again to get up and expect what's good having an attitude of gratitude thanking god for another day another moment because holding on to yesterday and allowing yesterday to hold you hostage that's like a slow death. Time is passing on. Moments are passing by. While you're trying to play it in safe zone is if creating a moment, which is a self-made moment, temporary happiness, and robbing yourself all the goodness that God has in the moment he has presented before you in the present. I had to learn how to enjoy the moment that I am in. Not moving too far ahead of time and not staying in the past. You can sit and reflect, but if you sit and reflect too long and ponder and stay there, it'll put you in a place called stuck, which is how yesterday can hold one hostage. Because you're always thinking about yesterday, the old, the past, and not looking at what is going on in this very moment. So I encourage you, if you've been struggling with forgiving yourself for things that you feel like should not be, Forgive yourself. Give it all over to God. God is a forgiving God. Cast your cares upon him and allow yourself to embrace the moment that you're in. Learn to live in the moment that you're in because tomorrow's not promised. And as we look and see throughout this whole pandemic with all the lives that have passed on, that are no longer with us, people that are no longer here, people that were here two years ago, no longer here, people that were here Six months ago, no longer here. People that were here last week, no longer here. 
to live in yesterday is a disgrace to God. When he's given us another opportunity to get up, breath in our body, blood flowing through our veins, to see another moment in time in the present, there's no time to look back. Looking forward, embracing where we are, and look forward with expectation as to what God is going to do and what it is that we're going to do. The work we have to do, embracing the moment that we're in, learning to live in the moment. And it's not encouraging a lifestyle of doing whatever. I'm only sharing not to take time for granted where you can't even enjoy the blessing of the moment that you're in because you're too busy looking in the past. Yes, whatever happened, happened. And it's not taking away the process. It's not taking away the pain. It's not taking away whatever was done. But begin the process of healing. And that's one step forward at a time. And knowing that this day is a day we've never seen before. This minute is a minute we've never seen before. Based on the time that we're in. Yesterday was a memory. Today is the present moment. Yesterday represents the past. So I encourage you, don't allow yesterday to hold you hostage. Let us pray. Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus, Lord, just to say thank you. Lord, I thank you for life, health, and strength. God, I ask you that those that may be struggling in the area of moving forward, that keep trying to recreate the past, traditions, things that have been of old, that God their hearts will be open to receive what is being shared right now and knowing that you're yet speaking and then embracing the moment that we're in, trusting you in the process in a moment we've never seen before will give us the peace that's necessary to move forward. That those places, God, where people have been, have suffered from trauma, that those places be healed and that they do come into a place In the moment that they're in, being able to enjoy that moment, enjoy that time and that new days and new good memories and new good moments can be of the present and not just of the past. Ask you, Lord, to heal those broken places and give them the strength to keep moving forward, trusting you in the process, looking forward and no longer looking to yesterday. Lord, I thank you. I praise you. And I glorify your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You all be blessed. Thank you for joining me on deck in the triage room. To get the music you hear in this podcast or to stay connected, visit my website, UrsulaCamille.com. That's U-R-S-E-L-A-C-A-M-I-L-L-E.com. Sign up on my email list. Get merch and more. Have an area of pain you want to address in the triage room? Send your email to thetriageroom at gmail.com. I'm your host, Ursula Camille, signing off. Be blessed. One touch in your life change. Did you know that Jesus reigns? One touch in your life change.